Yo, what is going on all my stars out there? How y'all shining? With the Drag Race DLC in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, it is more important now than ever before to tune your car to maximize the speed and performance of your beautiful car. But how exactly do you correctly tune your car? I had this question too for a very long time and could not find the answer for it. I just did not know how to tune at all. But however, I figured it out. So if you stick around, you will learn the thought process behind tuning and learn how to optimize any of your cars yourself very easily. So the car you're seeing now is my new baby. I haven't named her yet. So if you have any name suggestions at all, let me know down in the comment section below. However, I struggled from the launch in this car and in fourth and fifth gear. It just underperformed at the launch and underperformed in fourth and fifth gear. So if I didn't have a great launch, then I was losing in fourth and fifth gear. And if I had a horrible launch, I was losing in general because my fourth and fifth gear just couldn't catch up unless my sixth gear came in clutch, which it actually did a few times before we tweaked it. However, I needed a fix for it. Luckily, my boy was in a party and we brainstormed together and found out how to make it good from the launch and by the 4th or 5th gear, leave cars in the dust, eliminating the need for a 6th or 7th gear. You will see from the few clips below that even though my car is only a 708 drag rating, I could destroy cars far above my drag rating easily, so to me, I think this car is unbeatable. If you guys think you can beat it after I teach you how to tune it, I want to see let me know your fastest half mile times or one mile times and maybe we can even have a few tournaments eventually however let's get into the method but of course the first part is to check our stats now what are we at now and can we improve from there so we're just gonna run this quick a diagnostic just to see exactly you know what we get All right, so what we got is actually a drag rating of 761. It's way more powerful than my actual baby. So I'm very interested to see how this does on the track. So our horsepower is 1245. That's a 603 horsepower difference, which if you ask me is kind of crazy. And how our tuning looks right now, we can't do any tuning carburetors because the engine doesn't have any carburetors, which kind of sucks. And it doesn't have an ECU, so we can't do any of that. But for right now, this is how our tuning is. And I kind of know how I want to fix this, but I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to show you my thought process and why I did that. So what we're going to do is we're going to travel to the drag strip and we're going to face a random opponent just to see exactly, you know, what we can do. So let's go over to there. So I like to go up against the temperature because the temperature is actually kind of OP. So you can see our tuning is 98.58. It's way more tuned than our actual car. So I want to know what our baby can actually do. However, I'm not going to tune that other car too much because it's pretty much OP as it is. However, let's check this car. So this is a pretty much even playing field. Drag rating 764, drag rating 761. So I'm just going to start it. And I already know how this is pretty much going to go. Um, I honestly think that my initial start is going to be very slow. And he's going to beat me off this start so let's just find out so we're gonna look at him the whole time and just see kind of what we need to work at so as you could see the start is extremely slow i'm getting killed right now and there's absolutely nothing i can do and i'm still stuck in first gear so to me i'm just going to obviously return because with that i can't gauge any other gear so we're gonna head right back to the garage and we're going to fix our first gear. So you don't want your first gear to be too high. My mindset is I want to get to zero to 16 the fastest amount of time as possible. So how can I do that? Once this loads, we're going to find out exactly how to do that. And as you can see, we have a ratio of 2.72. I want to get this number down, but also I kind of want to do seven gears. I never normally use a seventh gear, but it doesn't hurt to have one. So we're going to use all these gears and play around with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by doing this. So 
what I want to do is go over to the ratio and I want to bring this down somehow. So I got to bring it down by going up and obviously I want my ratio to be a little bit lower, I believe. But however, we're just going to go all the way down. I like to have this at like 100, I would say. Um, and to me, what this kind of does is it allows me the best opportunity to get to my next gear, um, if that makes sense. So my, I want my first to third gear to kind of be in close successions. Fourth through sixth gear, I want to be kind of like a hundred mile per hour difference just because it gives me enough time to maintain and increase my speed without having to switch gears um, and then getting stuck on the gear. So what we're going to do is play around with these real quick and see what we can do and then come back. So what we're going to do is see if this works. So we have our first gear, but we have to switch at 95 miles per hour, which should help our first launch. We have our second gear at 149, our third gear at 200. And then from there, fourth, fifth, and sixth, we have like 100 miles per hour or kilometers of, of a difference. So we're going to apply this just to see exactly if this helps. Because again, guys, this is a trial and error. I want to see what works and what doesn't work and fix what doesn't work. So we're gonna head and drive back to the test strip. We're gonna get in our extremely amazing baby. All right guys, so we are back and we asked the Pagani owner for a rematch and he kindly said yes. We had to pay him a little bit of extra money, but he said, hey, I don't mind to keep rematching you if it helps you. Come on, let's keep going. So I said, all right, bet. But I said, don't worry, you'll have a room for your money this time. So we're gonna look at him and just see if we can get a better launch now. So. Let's launch and see exactly what happens. All right, so we can see that we won. So we know that our middle gears or our fifth and sixth gears are kind of our bread and butter. They're our bailout. However, I really don't like that launch still. So now my thing is what can we do without really touching the ending gears and fix the starting gears? So that took a little bit longer than expected. So let me tell you what I did. So 
we fixed the start and I noticed that I would go to about 50 or 60 when I'm doing a burnout, which was pretty good. So I wanted my first gear to be around there. So I turned my first gear to 73 miles per hour. I wanted to get to my second gear pretty fast. So I changed that to 115. And then my third and fourth gear was a little bit kind of messy. So I switched those up a little bit. So the third gear I put at 140. So it's a little bit close to it. I might move this probably up to maybe around 155 again i really didn't need to tweak it but around 155 we'll hit the fourth gear at about 225 kilometers per hour we'll hit fifth gear at about 200 i mean 300 kilometers per hour in sixth gear 410 kilometers per hour and then our final gear if we need it at 512 kilometers but again we won't need it the road isn't big enough for the thought process of how to learn how to tune your cars you really just want to test it out, see what you're having trouble with. If you're having trouble at the launch, it's your first, second, and third gear. Find out exactly where your shift is, and you'll be able to tell where your shift is when you're testing it out because your needle will start shaking before it redlines. You don't want it to redline. You want to check that. If you're having trouble, change your first gear. If you realize that you start to slow down around the third or the fourth gear, change up the i like to have a wider range in between the gears after the third fourth fifth and sixth gear because with that it actually allows my car to catch up speed without me being stuck in a gear and i'll also have more gears to shift to which would give me a little bit of a boost that's how i learned and through trial and error it may take you 20 minutes it may take you 30 minutes it may take you an hour but literally after you do one little thing or two little things Go to the test track it takes two minutes to get there test it out and see how that change affected your car if you found out that okay my launch is really good but the middle is kind of shaky and i kind of get behind then change up the middle a little bit don't change too much of the start because you know your start is good change up the fourth and fifth gear if you find out that okay my launch and my middle is good but they tend to catch up at the end Okay, don't change up your first and second gear. Change up a little bit of your sixth gear. Try to make it a wider gap. Add an extra gear just in case. And you should see dramatic results. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to tell me down in the comment section. Don't forget to name my baby. You can click the video on the left to see my review of Car Mechanic Simulator. And you can click the video on the right to see one of my old builds that I have done. I plan to do a few more builds on this channel and restores depending on how they perform if they perform i'm going to do a lot more than just a couple but also police simulator just came out so if you're really into watching simulator gameplays please subscribe and comment down below because i'm definitely going to be having some police sim videos on here and of course more of these videos if you want to see something else also comment that down below but until the next time i love you guys to the moon and back i'm out peace